In this video, I'll be walking through the question you see on the screen here from the maths paper 1-1 from the 2024 Cambridge A-Level exam. If you're looking for a different question from this paper, there should be a link to the playlist in the description below. And if you're looking for a different uh, paper entirely, have a look around on my channel. I'll be doing all this on a whiteboard, hopefully just like you're used to in your classroom. But remember, we're not in the classroom, we're on YouTube. Take advantage of that. Pause, rewind, watch it at double speed. If you find this video or any of my videos useful, I would greatly appreciate a like, a subscribe, a share, or even a super thanks. In question two, we're given this diagram here and we're told one of them is uh, y is equal sine x. Uh, so that's obviously uh, this, this narrow one here goes between, sorry, I don't have any numbers in. Um, you should be able to see this yourself. Uh, I'm just drawing roughly at this point, sine x. And it has some other function here, fx. We don't know what it is uh, yet, but here it is uh, roughly drawn. And uh, part A, they simply want you, well, sorry, they first tell you that sine x is reflected through the x-axis and they want us to describe the sequence of transformations that would get um, sine x after we've uh, reflected it through the x-axis into this other function. Now to answer this question I would usually uh, go through each of the steps and do it mathematically as well but that's the answer to part b so I'm going to hold off doing it I'll just try and do it visually first. Um, so once this is flipped, I, I'll draw another picture so I don't ruin my original one. Uh, once sign is flipped, we get like this, just upside down. To turn it into uh, this drawing, we have a couple of methods to go to it. I would, I would say this, um, so to get it to this other one, we're going to end up stretching or shrinking or pulling, doing something like that, and then we're going to end up moving. I would suggest to nearly always move at the end um, because when you're stretching things, which is what we're going to do here, uh, you want it to be symmetrical around the center um, because if you move it first and then try to stretch it, stretching comes from the symmetrically around the center. So you can get weird results that you're not expecting. Um, so a sine function is is goes from one to minus one. A gap of two or from the center, I think of it, from the center it goes up one. This other function from its center starts at uh, minus two and goes down to minus five or you can think of it as going from one to minus five. So it either goes a total of six or I think of half of it as being three. So a sine function is one high this function is three high. So I want this new function to be three times higher. So we're gonna stretch it out. And that's the first uh, transformation we do on it. We stretch it. And I, I would call that something like this. Uh, hmm, I don't know how to spell stretch. I just realized something like that. Stretch times three. And I tell them it was either in the, yeah, Y axis, I would say. Or I guess you could just write up or down would be the same. You're stretching, um, so you're or vertically. Sorry, is the other word, is the other word I was looking for there. Uh, vertically, I would also say. So stretching three times vertically, and you get this shape. And then last thing I would need to do to make it look like this, because it's already going down and then up. Uh, I just need to move it down two places, and then you would get to this. Uh, so that I would call a uh, translation. So uh, translation, uh, and you could just say translation down two. Uh, you could say translation uh, zero um, minus two. That that just means uh, you're you're translating it nowhere, left to right, but you're translating the up and down. You're going down. That's what the minus means two. And so there's lots of things you can do here. You can use English. You can use a bit of maths. They'll accept lots of things once you're uh, once you're getting roughly the right idea. There are other ways to do this. Uh, you can just uh, translate it if you add fractions in. A fraction in a translation is like a stretch, but uh, I wouldn't mess around with that. I'd simply just do all your stretching first and then at the end do your moving in your translations. Now I hope I explained the first part okay because I felt a bit constrained because I usually I do what I'm about to do now for part B when explaining a first part. 
Uh, part B, they want us to write, to write the equation for fx in terms of sine x. So that's pretty much like changing from sine x into this. So I'm going to go through all the steps, um, because when I see this function, I can write out its answer uh, by starting at sine x. So I think of sine x, let's draw it here. I'll be very rough up here, because otherwise I'll run out of room. Sine x looks like this. Uh, let me write these in each time, uh, sine x. Then they, they suggest this, they suggest inverting it. That's turning it upside down. That's actually just minus sine x. That stretching idea, let's draw it again here, that uh, just gets longer like that. That stretching idea is just multiplying this by 3, minus 3 sine x. Often you can do both of these at the same time. Once you get good, you can do lots of this at the same time, sine x. And then finally, the idea of uh, moving it down, uh, what does it look like? It looks like something like this, this final one here. That moving it down to is simply the same as here, minus 3 sine x, and then uh, minus 2 at the end. Or you, can, you often put the minus 2 at the front, because I don't want to get confused. It's not x minus 2, it's just minus 2 at the end. And that's, uh, that's the answer to part b. That's fx is equal all of this. And that's, that's how I do it. I do a lot of this in my head, in fairness, but if I ever need to do a question like this, I uh, do these steps. Again, often in my head, but it does help to draw them out sometimes. Okay, that's it for question two. If you have any follow-up questions for this, uh, put them in the comments below. I'll do my best to get back to you. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.